Hello everybody, welcome to the series on what was happening in the business world when you were sleeping last night. Well, COP27 summit kicked off last weekend. What is COP27 summit? COP27 summit stands for the 27th edition of Conference of Parties in the fight against climate change. Well, this is organized by United Nations and attended by almost every single country on the planet. Well, if you are a business student or if you are remotely interested in sustainability, you need to first follow COP27 very closely. The reason? This is a very popular topic in the interview space. There are two other COPs that you need to go back and also look into. One is the Kyoto Protocol, which is COP3, and the Paris Agreement, which is COP21. Now, taking a step back, what are the things that you can learn from this particular event? Number one, understanding that climate change fight should not be just restricted to a few world leaders sitting in Egypt or any other part of the world. This has to start with technology. How? The entire climate change fight is basically about reducing the consumption of fossil fuels to a lot of extent, such as coal, gas, etc. Now, how do we depend less on fossil fuels? Two ways. Number one, increasing the consumption of renewable energies. And number two, increasing the available energy in the batteries, right? The batteries which are used in electric vehicles, so on and so forth. Now, both these things can happen with innovation in technology and that technology is the center of everything towards the fight of climate change. Now, Nissan and Renault, which are a leading conglomerate in the automobile space, they were fighting about the IP rights towards their battery technologies last week. So you can understand what and how important this entire battery technology space is going to be for corporations and also for countries. Now, the second thing that you also need to learn about this entire situation is about the factors known as ESG, that is environmental, social and governance factors. This is a very popular word in the sustainability space, climate change fight. Now, what ESG are? These are independent factors, but they are all interrelated. For example, the climate change fight, which is all about increasing temperatures and consumption of fossil fuels, the impact is not the same on all the parts of the world. For example, countries which are close to the equator might experience a drought, that is the African continent. Because of the drought, of course, the productivity goes down. There would be a lack of availability of clean drinking water, so on and so forth. And hence, the economy is still dragging down. It's not just the African continent which is going to face the heat of climate change. A lot of other countries are also going to face the heat. However, richer countries have the resources to fight these challenges, but the poorer countries might not have these resources, hence a bigger challenge in front of them. So what's happening is the inequality between the rich and the poor nations is only increasing. Right. So please take a note and understand that this climate change fight is not just about the environment, but it is also about the economy and also the governance factors that are basically ruling the entire world. Hope this video is helpful guys. Please do let me know if you want me to make more such videos where I talk about both the corporate news and also the fundamental business learnings from these news. Take care guys and see you again tomorrow. Bye bye.